Yeah, uh, man, Jack State played a terrific game. Uh, they deserved to win and uh, really impressed with uh, the change they made from one season to a, the next. They, they have a connected team that presents a lot of problems with their length and athleticism. And uh, between Alabama, them, and uh, Western Kentucky, we, we've we faced some really hot teams that I think, I don't know if uh, Western Kentucky won tonight, but they had won six in a row coming to our place or coming in our game and Jack State had won five in a row. So uh, sometimes it's how it falls on the schedule. And uh, obviously I know the attention that everyone's going to be drawn to is the nine for, what is it, nine for 34 from three. And uh, we're going to keep shooting them. feel like that's part of our game plan, part of our strength. And, uh, yeah, got to figure out a way, though, to – uh, see if we can't uh, keep it out of the lane and give up giving up points in the paint because when we're not making threes and we're they're scoring close at the rim, it it doesn't look so good. Questions, Coach? How much does uh, you know not making shots maybe affect the team's you know confidence? You feel like that's been a problem some of the last couple of years? Uh, yeah, I mean it's <clears throat> it, it it is a part of the bumpy road that you go through during the course of a season. Uh, again, I reference Alabama. I watched them again last night and. Uh, they had a game against Clemson – or not Clemson, uh, Purdue. They were four for 22 from three and then eight for 40. And then against us they in Eastern Kentucky, they really came out of it. And I think our team will come out of it too. I believe in our guys. Uh, I think we have great character, and I think we have really good skill. And uh, Jack State made it hard on us, but other teams have made it hard on us in the past. Uh, but, yes, I think our confidence was shook a little bit, and it showed up on the defensive end. Because uh, they only had eight points with, I don't know, 10 to go, 10 something to go in the first half, and uh, we didn't finish the half well. What correlation is there between the defensive struggles and the shots not falling and the lack of confidence from that? I mean, they shot 43% from the field. And Tandy, who's been going off, only had, what, 14? And a bunch of those were at the line. So I don't know if I'd call them defensive struggles. They have a size advantage. <laughs> That, that is what it is, but uh, we did not, you know, we chose to to keep building it the way we've been building it. We didn't take a bunch of transfers, and uh, we, we're in a new league now, and uh, there's going to be a learning curve for us too. So I don't think we had – we don't play poor defense. I think, I think we've got some things we got to compensate for because of our lack of size and penalize people on the other end, and – uh, and we got to find those solutions. It's, obviously, it's a lot easier when you're making shots and you're playing with the lead. I know conference play is a different animal, but you know you guys are playing really good ball early in the season. You think teams are you know playing you differently? Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, putting size, length, switching everything, and uh, yeah, they they uh, everybody has the same game plan against us, and whether or not we can penetrate it and. Uh, Finish at the rim. <clears throat> I don't know how many blocks they had, but it seemed like we uh, we weren't even we weren't even finishing our twos. So uh, that can really get to you if you're missing from close range. And but guys, it's, it's part of the game. Like it's part of the season. And uh, again, I, I will when it's going well and and everyone's praising you. That's great and all that. But uh, when it's not going so well and people lose confidence or doubt, it's not going to be our locker room. Our group's going to continue to. Pursue it hard. Stay together. Uh, we're going to be who we are, and it's all, it's incumbent upon me to make the necessary changes that we need to make to give our chance, ourselves a better chance to win. But uh, we'll, we'll see what uh, what necessitates that after we uh, after we watch the game the game film. Uh, you know, Conference USA doesn't stop Sunday. Louisiana Tech. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people probably said they were maybe one of the, the, the conference favorites coming out of non conference play. Uh, you know, how difficult would that turnaround be for you guys to, to get back in the right frame of mind to, to try to pull off a, a big win? So yeah, they're, they're really good. I think we played the three highest rated teams uh, other than ourselves the first three games. and that. But those numbers, like, they don't mean anything once you get to conference. Uh, just ask Purdue or, or Houston or whomever. Um, but, yeah, I think every night in this league, John, I think every night will be a challenge. I really do. Um the 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 programs, the coaches, the the makeup of the rosters. There's a lot of transfers, a lot of JUCOs, and uh, again, we we're, we're gonna have to navigate it and uh, give our best, and then and see how we find a way to to compete at a 
at a more successful rate. But uh, we, like I won't, I wouldn't give up on this group. There, we have a special group of young men. I think there's only been you know two times in, in the five years in the A Sun that you guys lost back to back games in, in league play, and of course you start in 0 and 2 in, in conference USA play tonight. Are you? Um, you know, looking to see, you know, what type of resolve, what type of answer you get out of your guys uh, as you move forward? Yeah, fair question. I, but I, I know what kind of resolve, what kind of – we might not win the next game, but they, there, there's not a, a, a man in that locker room that has quit in him or isn't severely disappointed. I don't think we're identified by the scoreboard. Um, and, again, we're – Everybody around this program is used to winning, especially at home. So this is this is different for us. It's hard, uh, but that's the way you get better. That's the way growth uh, opportunities exist, and uh, and I think we'll grow from it. Physicality is there an adjustment and learning curve that your guys are finding out on the fly with what Conference USA brings for that? Well, I mean, just look at the size, the length, the athleticism, the bodies. Like I, I think, yeah. It, it's a higher rated league. So, uh, you know, if we're in a one-off in a non-conference game or a postseason game, uh, you see that same thing, but people aren't as used to playing against us in the league. Uh, you know, especially with the non-conference schedule that we had, everyone's mimicking the uh, the Grand Canyon, the, the FAU, the, um, the Charleston, uh, the Alabama game plan and uh, it, not going to get any longer right now. Not going to grow any taller. So we'll, we'll have to definitely adjust and find a way to uh, try and minimize our, uh, our disadvantages.